Hey guys, okay, the child is taken care of. Nothing is more dramatic than a three-year-old who loses a bracelet in the middle of the night. Okay, so I already showed you the stand. It's on Amazon, super easy. It's got a ball that allows you to, Andrea, hey Magda, um, that allows you to project it on the wall if you needed to for you know personal uses or whatever. Um, mine is typically just angled down on the table, okay? So that is how I have mine set up. Um, a lot of you have these. If you have to, you can change this. You can actually turn this to where it's on the other side if you needed to for any reason. Whatever. This rotates up and down, okay? So you can make it taller, shorter, whatever you need to do. Okay, are we good with the stand? Nothing too exciting. Okay, I'm hoping you guys, let me turn it this way so you guys can see it pretty good. Okay, pretty cool thing about the Pico. It's pretty darn crystal clear. But if you were doing an image that's not clear, this little dial here helps you adjust the clarity. Um, every once in a while I have to tweak one, but rarely I actually don't have to do that. Um, this is not. This is the stand um, on Amazon. And I can look up the actual name of it if you need me to. Um, okay, but it's usually found under a Pico. Whenever you look for Pico, a lot of the times this pops up. This is the entry-level Pico, AAXA model. It was about $112, I believe. So it's the basic pocket projector one, okay? Um, it comes with the charging. Let me put this down. Hold on. Yeah, if you guys have questions while I'm doing this, this is the time to ask. Um, it comes with the charger that I plug in. Some people swear, of course I can't do it because I'm doing this live. Some people swear that it charges while you're using it. I swear that it does not. Okay? Just saying. Yes, there is a ton of different cord options that you will need. I use an iPhone. So, um, everything I'm showing you is going to be for the iPhone or iPad. Yes, I am absolutely happy with mine. Would never give it away. And if it was to die, I would buy a new one. Okay, so for mine, it has this cord. Um, and a lot of the times when you put on Amazon um, the Pico projector, it actually suggests cords for you. So this is a basic cord. It comes, you also have to buy the Apple uh, Lightning cord. And it depends, and I can't tell you which model because it's totally gonna depend on which iPhone you have or um, Android or whatever. They're all different. You have to read the fine print. Sorry, that doesn't help. Um, using, but it can be plugged in. Yes. Um, see, once again, this is a topic that not everyone is going to agree with. I do not believe that it charges while it's in use. Other people, other cookiers swear that it does. I'm telling you mine does not. If I have it on and plugged in to charge, it's gonna eventually die. It will not stay charged. Just saying, my opinion, you don't have to argue with me. If yours charges, yay, you got a cool one. Good for you. Okay, moving on, here we go. When you are using it upside, it pointed downward, which is what we're gonna do for cookies, you can see that my menu bar is upside down, okay? You have to switch your projection, and that is super easy to do. These are your dials that you use for your menu. I am wanting, you're right here, this is where it is highlighted. It's kind of hard to see. Um, let me get it, there we go. Nice and clear. Can you guys see it? Are we good so far? I like leaving it here so that you can see the dial and the menu at the same time. Right now it's showing that this is highlighted. So this is the selection that I would be making if I hit the enter button, which is the center button, okay? All right, I want to get over here, which is the settings, okay? So I'm going to hit this button to scroll over to this position. So that's one, two, and I'm gonna hit the middle button, which is enter. And that gets me into a menu. And if I go too slow, it cancels off. Okay, I'm gonna scroll down to projection. Hit enter, and then I'm going to scroll up and down until it gets to where I want it, which is now facing the correct way, okay? See, I'm trying to get it all in screen. Hold on. Okay, can you guys see it? I turned it around so you guys could see it and I messed it up on my end. Okay, so now we are projecting in the proper way.
okay? I'm going to plug it into my cords so that I can show you a picture on it. Hey guys, hello. I had no idea you could flip it. Oh no, flip it. You can turn it the other direction. You can turn it up, down, left, or right. So you can completely do that. Um, okay, this is technically, it is the Pico Pocket Projector AAXA model. It is literally the super cheap one. Okay, so are we good on the whole projecting it differently? Do I need to do that again before I skip ahead? Are we okay with that? These menu bars is very important to get your projection in the right way and for you to then select where you're getting your picture, okay? I am getting mine from my phone, okay? So I need to now get to this position. So I'm scrolling down, enter, and I want the adapter. So I select it, okay? And it's gonna take just a second to find the image. And I need a new cable, so I'm gonna have to apologize for that. Did you hear that snap, crackle, and pop? Okay, so I have got my image up. Let's see if I can do this. It's gonna, it hates it when I tweak my cord. I don't know if anybody else has that. I got a bad cord and I need to invest in a new cord and I'm too cheap to do it. It'll happen, just give it a second. Okay, there's my image, okay? You can, on your iPad, iPhone, iPad, whatever, enlarge it like this, okay? Do you see how it's changing literally with that? Isn't that cool? If you were doing a mammoth big image, if you wanted this super duper big, here's what you do. Turn your phone. Yeah, don't steal my image. It's going to be a cookie one day. Okay, now can you see the difference in image sizes? Let's see if I can get it to where you guys can see it now. I have turned my phone landscape. Okay, can you see it? By turning it this landscape or horizontal, it's bigger already than this image. Okay, so if I wanted a bigger image, bigger than that, then do that. Now there have been occasions where I need it bigger than that, not very often. That's pretty dang big. That's a big cookie. Like that would be a big three to four inch plaque with no room on the side. That's pretty big. So I can't imagine needing it even bigger than that. So that's the key, that if you want it to be bigger instead of this direction, do you see how much smaller it just got? Hold on, there we go. If you want it a bigger image than what it's projecting, all you have to do is turn your phone a different position. And that's a big owl. And like I said, don't steal my image. I love my image. Love, love, love. Okay, does that make sense? Are you all with me and following? Okay, so I know that the stand was getting a lot of questions. The projection angle was getting a lot of questions and um, how to get it bigger was a big question. So what other questions do you guys have? Do you have more questions or did I pretty much cover it all in like five minutes? Because that would be awesome. Not likely, but it would be awesome. So I'm just going to wait till I see questions. If you guys don't have any, then we're good. Is your image, did it, do you understand how, um, hold on, we also use project, yes, you can definitely, I projected um, a video the other day on the wall for the girls, which was awesome. Um, Andrea, is this image not big enough for you? How do you remove the black border? What black border? I guess I don't see a black border. Um, when you buy your Pico, you will need, yeah, because that's just showing the whole image. This is just because that's as big as my image is on my phone. It has nothing to do with what it's projecting. It is literally projecting exactly the image on my phone. So if I just wanted huge Mongo eyes, I can't imagine having a cookie that big because this projection is five and a half inches by three and a half inches is what I've got right now. And if you go up, raise your stand up, you suddenly have a bigger image. Look how huge that is. Look how huge that is. It's mammoth. Can you guys see it? I'm trying to get it in the screen. It is really, really big. 
Like we're talking humongo. Okay? So raise your, your stand up. I just raised it from a low position, small, okay? Hold on. And I'm going to show you the size of it. You just raise it up and it changes your projection size. Okay? Are we good with that? Does that make good sense? So the first thing to make something big is to change the image on here. Yeah, if you still want it big, like my goodness, that's a big cookie. Surely you're not projecting that big of a cookie. But if you needed to, let me get it in focus. Sorry guys, I walked to the side, so if you're asking questions, I can't see it. Um, that's a humongo owl. I mean, we're talking, that thing is huge. Um, okay, if the image comes on your phone is too big, is where, where to decrease it? Man, I can't talk tonight. Um, here's the funny thing. Let's do that real quick. One site that I use a lot, um, it did not stay in focus. It kind of got a little cloudy, so I changed it a little bit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. For my wording and lettering, what I got, have shown, told you guys that I do is I use defont.com a lot. So we're just going to go there really quick. If I can type. There we go. Um, a lot of the times what I'll do is you can see how teeny tiny the lettering is. Do you see how tiny it is? It's really, really small on here. If I would stop moving my cord. Let me get it in focus. There we go. That's pretty tiny. Okay. So one image is to just what I do on Defont and not everybody does, but I screenshot mine. So whatever I'm wanting to use, it doesn't have to be hooked up to the Pico when I'm trying to find my fonts. I will just screenshot it. And then I can go into my, can you see my phone? Then I can go into my pictures. Hold on, let's get rid of my owl. And then you can change the size that you want that way. Okay, here's another thing that I have been telling you guys that I do. I type in happy birthday in Google, okay? I don't know if you can see. It's gonna bring up all these images, okay? Um, the one that I've been using a lot, and if you use it, feel free to give me props, is this one. Okay, that's pretty big, and it's gonna project pretty good size, which is probably, see, I need to leave my cord alone. It hates me. Okay, it's pretty big. Say I wanted it smaller. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna screenshot this image, which is all the images, and all of a sudden it's gonna be small. So then I go back into my photos. I hope this is making sense to you guys. Uh, let me get rid of this. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, so all of a sudden it's right there and it's teeny tiny. Let me show you. Do you see it here? Of course it's the one that you can't see. It's teeny tiny. So that's a way to get it small and then big if you want it big if you need it bigger all of a sudden you turn your phone horizontal view and it's humongous okay so there's all kinds of ways to change the size of something just like the coffee cake where you adjust the height of the lens you're adjusting the height of the stand um, no it does not come with the cords that you need if you were just going to use the pico to project on the wall, you don't need anything. You just need your Pico. If you're going to hook it up to an iPhone, computer, Android, anything of a device, you are gonna to have to get cables to hook up to here. This is the cable that's running to mine. You can all, and I'll get to that in a second, but you're gonna to have to buy your cable separately. If you're any of the cookie groups on Facebook, there is a ton of threads about the Pico. Google them. They tell you exactly what cords you need for iPhone, exactly what cords you need for Android, and all of that stuff. I can help you with iPhone, but I cannot help you with Android. There are people out there that can. Okay, another really cool feature about the Pico. Okay, hold on. Really cool thing. Because it's made to project movies and things, it also as a speaker. So while I'm working, all of a sudden I have music while I'm working. That's kind of cool. I know people that watch um, podcasts that listen to that while they're working. Just a little side note.
Just saying. Kind of cool. Okay, so whatever is on my screen is what I can project. Okay? Um, ba -ba -bum -bum. If I wanted to do something like a character of my kid, she's right there all of a sudden. Okay? Bam. Cute kid. All right, do you guys have any other questions, or has that just completely made sense to everybody? I hope so. Once you figure out how to switch your projection, how to get it in focus with this little dial, how to use your stand to where you can raise it and lower it, then you're golden. Pico is super easy. I have the coffee cake. It works great. I am not bashing on the coffee cake. But the thing I love about this is you do not have to print anything. You don't have to. You don't have to print it according to pretty darn close of the size that you would use. KK is pretty cool, but it's got to be pretty accurate to almost the size that you're using unless you have the reduction lens or the other lens, the magnifying one. Um, basic coffee cake doesn't come with that. You can flip the lens upside down and make it huge, but there's a lot of give in that size. If you have a coffee cake, you totally know what I'm talking about. So I love the Pico does not have to print. You can resize it right there as you're working. When you get your cookie out here, maybe you totally screwed up the size that you're thinking. Bam, done. Um, I used, I've used it a couple times. I got a birthday invitation with cute little chibi characters. I just took a picture of it on my phone and I could resize it and change it and alter it and everything straight on my phone without having to mess with a copy cake or printing or resizing or any of that so much easier okay any other questions that you guys got for me um it works perfect in daylight zero like i work in here in the afternoon and i have a big window right here you can see it clearly and perfectly perfectly and i mean that you don't have to go in a dark room at all i think all of my um tutorials that i've done hand painting things is typically in the afternoon so you don't have to worry about the light at all it is a very clear image. Let me pull a different picture up so you guys can see better. Um, I don't know what that is. My kid posing with Cinderella. Okay, here we go. I'm going to put it on the wall. It's upside down because I was projecting for a cookie, so now it's reversed. But she's right there. Bam. Isn't that cool? So you can use it for family uses, and you can use it for cookies. Um, I had to do big poster boards for my um, kids pre-K thing. Would you believe that I use this to project huge zebras and elephants on cardboard? Because I did. I did. All right, guys, I think I've covered pretty much everything. If you miss too much, hope I did not miss too much, you can replay it for 24 hours. If you have questions, you can be like everybody else that has sent me messages which I do not mind at all. I really don't. If I can help you, I'm more than happy to. All right. Okay, guys, I'm going to give you one more second to um, ask questions if you have any. Mine was from Amazon. I paid $115 with free shipping. The cords did get me in the end because the Apple Lightning cable was about um, $39, I think. This one was like $39. I have been told not to buy the off-brand because they don't do well. However, you can see the trouble I had with my on-brand, so how about that? Okay, um, yeah, so I hope that that helped. I hope it explained quite a bit about the Pico. Like I said, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. Love it, love it, love it. All right, if you have any questions, seriously, don't hesitate to send me a message. I'm more than willing to help, or you can send me a message on Instagram. I'm there, too. Hey guys, otherwise I'm going to see you tomorrow. All right. Um, I bought my lightning off of Amazon, and I guess I had already uh, passed the length of time to return it, so I was just kind of screwed. So, yes, I need to get a new one. One day. Otherwise, I just tweak it and it works. <laughs> um, it did not come with, I'm going to unplug it, it did not come with either of the cords that I needed. For my iPhone. It needed both of these. Okay? It did not come with these. It did come with the ones for charging, but I think that was about it. All right? Okay, guys. Otherwise, I'm out. Gotta work out.
I will see you guys in the morning for Cookie Coffee Chat. Bye, guys.